In this video, I'll show you how to fix apps not downloading on your iPhone. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. Make sure you watch this full video so you know all of the different methods and let's get right into this. So the first thing I recommend doing if an app isn't downloading is just to go and try another app because that first app may just be glitching or the app store may just be playing up for that specific app. So I recommend just try downloading another app. If that still doesn't work, then what I recommend doing is making sure that your iPhone is up to date. If you've got an outdated version of iOS, then that may be the reason why you can't go and download apps. So to update your phone, all you need to do is open up your settings and scroll down and tap on general and then go and tap on software update and your iPhone is going to go and check for any updates you may have available. For example, in this case here, I have one. So what I need to do is go and tap on download and install and go and update my iPhone. The next thing I recommend doing is making sure you've got some free storage or just space on your iPhone for, uh, for more apps. To do that, go into your settings once again, but what you'll need to do is go to a general like here, then go to the about or just scroll down until you go and see iPhone storage. And then it's gonna go and show you how much space you've got free. So in my case, I've got what 2.8 gigabytes, which should be enough to go and download more apps depending on the size of the app because some apps may be quite large. Now, another reason why apps may not be downloading is because you're using cellular data and there are some specific settings you need to go and change if you want to be able to go and download apps over cellular data. Scroll down the settings until you go into the option for app store just here and go and tap on it. Then what you'll need to do is make sure mobile data is enabled and when you scroll down, make sure it's where it says app download, just tap on it there. You can set that to always allow and hopefully that will go and fix the problem. However, if that still isn't fixing the problem, then just make sure that your iPhone in your iPhone's internet connection is actually working. It probably is because you're watching this video, but maybe go and open up Safari and go and see if something loads. And if that still isn't working, then what I recommend doing is restarting your iPhone. That's often just gonna go and clear any error that may be occurring. To do that, all you need to do is go and press the increase volume button, then the decrease, and then hold the power button. You then get this screen here, and if you keep holding your power button, your iPhone will eventually go and restart. Uh, I'm not going to do that now because I'm recording this video, but yeah, just keep holding it, your iPhone will go black. It may take sort of 10 seconds, and your iPhone will go black for sort of 10 to 20 seconds again, and then you, could, you should go and see the Apple logo. If your iPhone just remains black, then just hold the power button, and then it should be begin to turn on, but it should turn on automatically. So that's definitely one thing you should definitely try as it's going to go and clear a lot of problems. So as I said before, literally you press the increase volume button, then the decrease and hold the power button and that should go and restart it. Another thing you need to check if you're unable to go and download apps is your content restrictions on your device. To do that, go and open up your settings and then scroll down and see so you go and see the option with screen time and go and tap on it and then go down to where it says content and privacy restrictions, tap here. Mine is currently disabled, but if it's switched on like so, and I had a passcode and things like that, you can go in all these different settings and there's so many different things you can choose from. And essentially sometimes downloading apps may be blocked off. For example, in iTunes and app store purchases that may be disabled. So I just recommend disabling this whole thing here. You may need to go and enter a passcode. Mine is currently switched off. If you guys found this video useful, then please consider subscribing. Peace.